Okay, today we're going to work in the style of an artist, one of my favourite artists actually, Giacometti. He was actually a sculptor, so he made 3D models, mostly out of wire, but definitely out of metal very often. Um, but he was also a very interesting drawer. He would draw people with many lines. And when he drew with line, you can see him thinking as a 3D sculptor. So this is uh, student Tomiris, who's, she's done a drawing of Giacometti there. Um, but also what I particularly wanted to show you was this drawing here, this stunning drawing. So it's done with um, a build-up of layers of very energetic, overlaid line, and this is Giacometti's style. This is actually a drawing she's done using his drawing technique and actually drawing one of his sculptures there. So what I want you to do is to get, the, uh, get a black pen and this time you're going to draw with a continuous line. You're not going to take it off and you're going to build up these multitude of layers, very much like Giacometti. So let me just turn the camera around and demonstrate this technique. So here I've set myself up with an image, whatever it is you're going to draw, and you're going to uh, choose your starting point. You can sketch very lightly with pencil if you want, but I definitely recommend you very quickly get in with the pen. And you're not doing uh, tonal shading, you're building up the line over and over again until the denseness of the cross-hatched line cause causes the shadow and light to appear. as your eyes are flicking from the object that you're drawing or the picture that you're drawing back to the piece of paper, your hand and the pen is actually almost mimicking the action of your eyes. So yes, sometimes, for example, here, I'm drawing the outline of the nose, but at the same time, you're drawing the 3D form. So, just build this up. This is going to take at least 20 to 30 minutes to really build up the denseness of line that is reminiscent of Giacometti. And the beauty of this is you see the hand of the artist very clearly thinking, modifying, adjusting the work. So don't worry if you make some line slightly in a different place. Try to keep moving over the whole picture and then going back and refining later. So. Whatever you see, uh, you want to exaggerate. So it's not going to be a kind of necessarily very beautiful picture. Any bags under the eyes, you know, shadows under the eyes, are going to look even more prominent. Um, any kind of wrinkles or creases in the skin are going to be showing out even more so. So you're not drawing the colours and the shades or even the tone, you're more showing the direction of the eye working over the picture. So these lines here would be the shadows down the side of the face. Usually light will hit one side more than the other of the face or object or whatever it is you're drawing. And remember, um, the working, the lines, do not just have to land on the object or person they can go into the background. So we might decide to actually take away uh, the background here with some shadow falling against the wall. And of course, uh, the denser you put the lines, the nearer you put them, and the more times you go over it, the more you're going to get the impression of a really dramatic shadow. Even if you're an artist that prefers to draw in tonal shading, giving this technique a go really makes you very quickly and immediately consider the whole 3D form. 
because you're thinking about how your eyes are hitting that subject matter. Now you might want to have a go doing this on a slightly smaller scale than what I've done. I've done it straight away A3, because I'm obviously doing it for demonstration points, uh, purposes. But you might decide actually, you want to start off just with a drawing, you know, the size of your hand. And then scale it up to at least A4, or preferably A3 because you're really moving your arm about. Um, Giacometti was a very energetic kind of physical drawer. I think that's why you can see the sculptor, the physical sculpture coming through even in his drawing. He really had to move his arm about um, to create that very dramatic use of line. Okay, and sometimes with all bits of artwork, it's also knowing where to stop, isn't it? and say so that's it, taking it as far as you need to. So that's my Giacometti style drawing. I would like you to have a go at doing that today.